Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today on My Favorite Pens, we're going to take a look at the Wheelick and Simpson Matchstick Filler. Let's take a look. So here is the Wheelick and Simpson. This is a matchstick filler. This pen is uh, circa 1910 or so. Uh, Wheelick actually uh, patented this filling system around 1904. And uh, they made these matchstick fillers for, for several years. Um, Weedlick is out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, they had a couple different versions of the company. But uh, this is the early version. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful pen. Uh, I love this pen not only for its filling system, which is unique, but also for uh, the nice work on the overlay. And it also has a really cool story behind how I got the pen. Uh, let's just take a look at the pen itself first and we'll get into the other, the other aspects. Uh, the gold filled filigree. In this case, this is fairly heavily worn. This pen was, was well used, well loved, uh, but it's in overall really, really excellent shape. Uh, the first thing you're gonna notice, of course, is you've got this little post sticking out the top. Um, as you can imagine, uh, nowadays, for a 100-year-old pen, uh, there are not a lot of Wheelick matchstick fillers that still have this part still attached. And the way this works is simple. This is a self-filling pen, and you notice in the barrel here, there's a little hole. And so how this works is you would take the cap off, and you would put it in here, and then you would press down on a uh, pressure bar, to compress a sack to fill the pen. There were a number of matchstick fillers on the market. Wirt made one, Aiken Lambert made one, uh, probably countless others. But the catch was is you had to have a matchstick. So Weedlick says, well, we'll just include the matchstick for you. So in case you don't have it, or maybe you're not a smoker at the time. So this is a really, really cool idea. You can just press down and you're good to go. The overlay is quite ornate um, and fairly, fairly high relief. It's just a really lovely, lovely pattern. Um, as with most overlays that you're going to find uh, in the early part of the 20th century, you're going to see an engraving on the, the cartouche there. This one's interesting because it's, almost, it's a two-line imprint. And it says D on the top, and then the bottom looks like it's Y E, uh, maybe O E. It's hard. It's really kind of hard to make out, but uh, a neat, neat inscription. But just really, really nice work. Um, just very fluid. Very similar to some of the stuff that Heath was coming out with Aiken Lambert, uh, which we've been showing on the uh, My Favorite Pen videos. Uh, this one's just really a great pen. So it's fairly, it's fairly long in the hand. Uh, if we have it unposted, it's a decent length. Now this is a slip cap, which also makes it unusual for a, a self-filling pen. Uh, most self-filling pens you see are gonna have threads uh, and eyedroppers will have a slip cap. This has, I guess, the best of both worlds. It has no threads on the barrel and uh, it's just a slip cap. 14 carat Wheelick and Simpson nib. And if you post it, it's a nice, it's a long pen, but it's not heavy. Uh, for some of you who are just getting into vintage pens, you'll note that a lot of the vintage pens are, are very light by today's standards. Um, so this length, does not, uh, does not play into effect as much as, say, a modern pen that, is, that is definitely heavier. Um, this is more like uh, a desk pen that has a taper. It's very, very lightweight. Um, the nib on this is very firm. Um, so despite the, the thought that most early fountain pens have a flexible nib, in this case, uh, it does not. It's a very, fairly firm nib and uh, really kind of a neat pen. So here's a story that goes with this pen. 
I bought this at the Detroit Pen Show uh, several years ago, probably uh, 2011 or so. And I had a gentleman come up to, to my table and he actually had 35 millimeter photographs of pens in his collection. And uh, he said uh, he had them for sale and he wanted to sell the whole lot. And then he had a picture of this pen and I saw it and I, I had to have it. So I ended up buying the entire lot of pens and I said, okay, well, do you have the pens with you? And he actually had them in the back of his truck. So we walked outside in the rain and I was buying pens out of the back of his truck just so I could get this pen. Um, and definitely worth it. This is the only one out of the uh, probably 50 or 75 pens that I bought from him that day. But uh, definitely really a great pen. So there you have it, the Weedlick and Simpson Matchstick Filler, one of my favorite pens. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com, our store in Appleton, Wisconsin, or at any number of pen shows nationwide.